How to get rid of armyworms before learning about how to get rid of armyworms. You first need to make sure it is the armyworms you are dealing with. Let's go over their appearance and what their effects look like. First and most importantly, armyworms aren't worms. They're caterpillars. Measuring about 1 and 3 quarters of an inch and up to 2 inches long, there are seven common types. Here are the common names for each of the seven species followed by their scientific names and their appearance. Common armyworm, true armyworm, or white speck moth. Mythamna unipuncta, graying brown or green brown in color with long, dark stripes. Its moth form has tiny black dots on the outside of its wings and white specks which its name refers to. Northern armyworm, oriental armyworm, or rice ear cutting caterpillar, mythamna separate. The larvae have long, greenish stripes of a lighter line and two wider stripes on either side, and their heads are brownish. The adult moth has a grayish color with yellow-tinged wings. Southern armyworm, Spodoptera eridania. The blackish-green or gray-green larvae have reddish-brown heads, maturing to develop long, yellow stripes and off-white or white stripes, darkening into a grayish-black undertone. The adult moths have a brown body, brown forewings, and off-white rear wings. Fall armyworm, Spodoptera frugiperda. This hairier species is mostly brown in color with bright yellow, long stripes which may sometimes have white borders. The adult moth has a darker, patterned forewing and a white rear wing. Beet armyworm, Asparagus fern armyworm, small mottled willow moth, Spodoptera exigua. The greenish-brown larvae have dark, long stripes on their upper sides while adult moths are brownish with reddish-brown spotted forewings and beige or ivory rear wings. Lawn armyworm or paddy-swarming caterpillar, Spodoptera marisha, beginning as pale green larva, it matures into a green color on its back with long brown and white stripes. The adult moths have dark patterns with grayish-brown undertones. African armyworm, nutgrass armyworm, ocolumbo, or commando worm, Spodoptera exempta, there's no one color with this species because its color depends on whether it is solitary or in a group. The single larvae are green, while the ones in a group are dark gray or black. Both have dark, long stripes. Adult moths have gray-brown forewings, off-white hindwings, and veining patterns. The fall, common, and southern armyworms are species that exist in North America, including the United States. It is the fall armyworm you're most likely to encounter chewing up plants in your yard or pasture. Plus, this particular chomping chaos reeker tends to sneak up on you, making it even more important to notice an infestation early on and prepare accordingly. Regardless, methods for getting rid of them will be the same. Method 1. Common Organic Remedies 1 Organic Remedy is a liquid spray or powdered form of Bacillus thuringiensis var. Kerstaki, also called BT for short. You might find the liquid spray available as Monterey BT and the powdered version available as garden dust. BT will poison armyworms as well as many other types of caterpillars. A spinosad spray like Monterey Garden Insect Spray works similarly. So does an azotoractin spray like Azotrol EC, but you can instead use neem oil which has the same active ingredient, azotoractin, and it will be just as effective. Method 2. Beneficial insects or birds in the environment you can benefit your small ecosystem by providing food for the armyworm's natural predators. Ladybugs, lacewings, ground beetles, and predatory wasps are sold as beneficial insects for biological pest control. Alternately, you can set up bird feeders and nests to attract the local birds. Method 3. Insecticide When all else fails, it's time to bring out the insecticide. Use IGR insecticide to interrupt the armyworm's growth cycle and control small armyworms, and pyrethroid insecticide for small to medium-sized armyworms. Note that IGR insecticide does not require a license to use, but pyrethroid does. You might want to mix them for fast-acting results plus lasting after-effects.